right, so now let's just go ahead and show you guys how to do this pretty rainbow striped water marble. Make sure you have your uh, finger nice and prepped up with some white polish and tape. I'm using uh, Cirque's Carpe Diem, my new favorite white. It's a really nice formula. And I'm also using, you may remember these from my last tutorial, Pipe Dream Polish's Ignite in Vegas collection which just works great for mar water marbling. Speak of, speaking of things that work great for water marbling, I wanted to take a second to address a few questions I got, um, which were mostly about how people were having trouble with their polish kind of drying up too quickly in the water when they dripped it. So I'll have, I have three things to say about that. One is I make sure that you have room temperature filtered water and there's no fans or anything going on around you. Also make sure that you're using a cup that isn't too large, kind of small like this one. And then you, and then lastly, you want to make sure that you're using polish <clears throat> that works great to water marble. So how I figure that out is I use a swatch sticks like this right here and I dip it in, uh, try it out in the water and then I dip this in there to see if it looks nice. Obviously, this one came out nice. That's just a little smudge I had on there. So, it worked out good. And that's how I know that I can use those polishes to water marble with. So, you can dip in like a paper towel or a piece of paper or whatever to the water to see if it works. If you don't have a swatch stick. But, if you haven't already, try out polishes such as Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Extreme Wear or Zoya or OPI, the creams tend to work really good. Okay, so back to the water marble itself we're doing here. Um, I've got my two rings of colors, uh, just using two because there are so many. And then now you wanna take your tool and go from the middle to each side, then wipe, then go from the top to the bottom and wipe. And then bottom to top, kind of making a stripe looking design. And we're just going to keep doing that until we have it all through the whole cup. Keep wiping. When you uh, stripe your stick through the cup, make sure to kind of like go on the side. That helps the polish stay more stable in the cup itself. All right, so now I have the nice design, yay. Grab your stick that you're gonna use to clean up with and gently dip your nail in to the place you want to dip. Let's see, I'm gonna go right here. Boom. All right, so now take this, after you blow a little bit on the top of the water, it helps it dry a little bit and just gently do that. Make sure you don't touch your own design, of course. <sighs> All right. And then now kind of gently bring up your nail. All right, so what happened there was there was a bubble in between my nail cuticle and the tape and it popped, so now I came back with the stick because I want to make sure I don't get anything on my nail itself. Ta-da! Yay! There we go. That's nice. Okay, so now you want to take off your tape with one of these. It helps keep your other nails clean. under here. Yay. And now what you're going to want to do is kind of clean up around your nail a little bit. Just underneath, on the sides. This is just Q-tip and, and polish remover. And then get your cleanup stick and do a little bit more cleaning. 
There's a little white spot on the top of my nail, but that is okay because it's all purple right there. And I will be able to clean up, or, um, sorry, not clean up, <laughs> I'm thinking about cleaning up my nail. I will be able to, um, just spot that up with a little bit of polish before I finish this. Here, I'll do it with you guys right now. So I'm just going to take the purple, can I do a little doctoring on that finger itself. You might be able to see it. So that prevents me from having to do a whole nother water marble. So if you ever have that kind of problem, you can just do what I just did. And kind of clean up again. As needed. There you go. Nice rainbow water marble. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the lightning bolt on top of the water marble. You may have seen me do this design before um, using these nail vinyls. I used a yellow and uh, orange polish with a textured polish on top of it. It looks kind of cool, but I decided to just use a nice black over top of these ones. So I'm using this black today. It's called Memento Mori by Cirque. It's pretty awesome. And um, so I've done all my other nails, but I just wanted to show you guys this last one. So I have these two tweezers, these pointy ones, and then to pick up the nail vinyl, and then these ones to take off the nail vinyl, because these ones aren't very, they don't stick very well. Um, there's two different types. There's, they just go different ways, and I'm using these ones. So just gently kind of pick it up off of there. And then I like I can just I like to just use my fingers and stick it on your nail. Kind of line it up with the rest of them. Make sure it's on there nice. Kind of you can even take the tweezers and pat it down on the sides. Just gonna make sure it looks good. I like to do this kind of thing to make sure it looks nice with the rest of them. Looks like it does, yay. Alright, so now take your black. You don't want too much of the black on your uh, brush because you don't want it to flood the sticker. So just take a tiny bit. Make sure it's all good on there and apply it. Yay. Edge it off a little bit if you need to. Now with your other tweezers, pick it up, and voila! Look at that. Now you can clean it up just a little bit if you need to. Oh, I forgot to mention also, dirt, this is probably self-explanatory, but make sure that you have top coated your nail and let, let it dry for at least an hour. I let these dry for a little bit less than an hour before I uh, put the stickers on top because you don't want it to pull a nice pretty design that you have off. So yes, that's something I just forgot to mention. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Nice rainbowy water marble. Something just 
to add to the article design. Okay, so here's what it looks like under the black light. Kind of pretty there. These polishes glow really nicely under the black light. So, just a little better look at that. Yay! So thank you so much for watching. I hope to have more tutorials for you guys soon. Again, this one was kind of a double tutorial with the striped and the striped water marble and the nail vinyls. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because I'll be making more videos. Thank you.